How's it going guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Zippy Mods in the Jimpy Martian. You can see I've already done one handle and we'll do the other handle together. The mods consist of three parts. Handle inlays. Here I've got glow in the dark and I'll just show you. Shine a black light on them. Give you a little glow there. With a smooth finish. You can also select these with a textured finish as well as a holographic finish. But I'm going to be installing the smooth glow in the dark in lace today. Another mod are these spacers. They're lighter than the stock spacers that come with the motion. You can see each one only weighs 0 0.014 ounces, so it gives you an intermediate uh, lower handle bias balance profile, if you like. And then the last part of the mod are these pivot plugs. You can use the pivot plugs with or without the zippy spacers. Just note, if your goal is to tinker with balance, I would install the pivot plugs last uh, because taking them out will kind of mar them cosmetically. And so if you take them out, you would probably want to replace them. But more on that in a few minutes. Let's start by installing the handle inlays. There's going to be a flat side and then this open side. The flat side will either be smooth, textured, or holographic, depending on which which finish you select. So the smooth side will be facing up and the rough side facing down. And I'm just gonna start by pressing the corner into the handle and then I'll do the other corner. And I'll just use my finger to push it down further. And you can just smooth it out with your finger. I like to uh, take a piece of paper towel or cloth, kind of bunch it up and then just run it up and down to make sure everything's nice and smooth. Let's do the other side. Hook in one corner, hook in the other corner, and we'll just press it in. And smooth it out. You might find that you missed a spot, like I did here, at the edge, you can see. So I'm just gonna push that in gently. Mission accomplished. If you ever wanted to remove the inlays, it's pretty easy. I use this plastic coated paper clip so I don't risk scratching the titanium or the anodization. And you can just pop them in, pop them out rather, from the inside, just like that. We'll reinstall this and we'll keep moving on. All right, let's go ahead and install the zippy spacer. To do that, we'll unscrew the hardware, the base of the handles. We'll take the zippy spacer. You'll see it'll have a side of jimping and the hole is going to be closer to the top than the bottom. So this material here is thicker than this material. So we're gonna orient the spacer just like that with the jimping facing out away from the handle and the thin side here facing towards the end of the handle, just like that. So my jimping's facing out, thin side towards the end of the handle and we'll just push it in like that. Now, at this point, we will simply replace the sex bolt and screw it back in. Now, let's say you wanted to use the 
pivot plugs instead of the stock sex bolts because perhaps you want to fill the holes here for cosmetic reasons or if you want to reduce the handle bias further. The way to do that is remove the sex bolt and simply pop the pivot plug in with your hand until it sits flush. And when you only have one in, you can remove it easily by popping it out with a rigid object. And in just a moment, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to remove them if you have both of them in, which is a little trickier. It's gonna require either this uh, pick, a metal pick, you can get them in like a dentist kit, a gun cleaning pick, uh, or a very rigid needle. And you're gonna to wanna to be careful, you don't wanna make any jerking movements and risk scratching the anodization. But let's say you wanted to remove the pivot plugs, I'm going to pierce them very gently and firmly. I do not want to scratch the handles. And I'm just going to kind of lever them up just like that. And once I've got one out, first I'm going to show you the damage. And this is why you'd probably want to save messing with the pivot plugs for last. So now you've got a cosmetic blemish on there permanently. <laughs> so I would save these for last once you're confident that you do indeed want to use them. Unless you're willing to just grab another set, which is also understandable. And now I've got one left, so I'm just going to push it through. And it will require some firm, gentle force. I made the friction fit pretty tight. Um, that tends to make the sound a little nicer, and they stay rock solid during even the hardest of concrete drops. All right, let's say you wanted to remove the spacer. You could, but we want it in for now. If, uh, if the six bolt gets kind of locked up here, just back it out. Oops, sorry. Just back it out. Usually means that the uh, spacer was not fully seated. There we go. Too easy. Oh, that's interesting. The, uh, it looks like the sticker Jimpy included with the blade might be UVA reactive too. Anyway, that's it. You've just successfully installed the Zippy mods for the Jimpy motion. Thanks for watching, guys.